This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Use a Text Widget to Customize a WordPress Sidebar. And in an earlier uh, tutorial, I showed you how to add the um, Flickr Photo Widget to a sidebar, and that um, allows you to put thumbnails of the photos that you have on Flickr in, in there, and then people can just click on those and go to the Flickr website and see whatever photos you want to include. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a custom uh, kind of a text box that you can put pretty much anything you want in there. Um, in, in this case I've got one already created where I put a kind of a bio uh, for me and then a picture and a badge uh, which you can pick up badges from lots of different websites if you have profiles or an account there. Um, this one I chose to use is the LinkedIn badge. And so first I'll show you how to put text into the text box and um, make part of the text a link. And then I think that that will pretty much take up the time that we have but in the next um, part of the tutorial I'll show you how to insert a photo and a badge into that same box. Okay, so let's see how this goes. In the admin panel, go to design. And widgets. Okay. And here, if, if you haven't checked this out yet, widgets are pretty great. Um, they allow you to put a lot of stuff into sidebars with, without knowing any HTML or um, other code. And here, uh, because this, this site, uh, the theme for the Business Blogging 101 site, has two sidebars, a left and a right sidebar, um, you, can, you can edit either one of those. And you have to, to do that, you have to select uh, the as it says current widgets over here select the sidebar that you want to work on. Now if your theme only has one sidebar on either the left or the right uh, you may still see this sidebar 1 and 2 but uh, if you work on the sidebar 2 my uh, guess is that you won't be able to see that. So in this case I can do that. I'm going to select sidebar 2. I'm going to click on show Okay, and that will show me all of the widgets that I am using in sidebar 2, which is the right sidebar, right meaning on the right side. Okay, so here right now are a couple of text, if you can see these, blow those up a little bit, uh, text widgets where it says text and then Mark McLaren, that's this top one. Okay, and then it has text, support this site, that's another custom text box that I'm using and then links, uh, the blog roll, those are all the links down the right hand side here uh, that I've created using the blog roll widget. Okay, so to put another widget in here all you have to do is look over on the left hand side and it gives you all your options. Okay, some of these are in use so the add link is not there for those um, and some are like the text widget where you can have as many as you want. Uh, so I'm going to add another one by clicking on add. Okay, and did you see that it popped another text box over here? Okay, I'm going to open up that text box and now it's got two fields in here. One is the header for that text area. I'm putting in my name. Okay, and then the other field is whatever else I want to put in there and I've got a text file already created here um, that includes a, a link um, so part of the text is a link okay and I'll put this text on the uh, mcbuzz.wordpress.com site in the post so that so you can pick it up and see what it does but this is how you would create a link using HTML okay it's got an A for anchor tag and then a closing tag on the other side. Okay, if you can see that. And I'm just going to highlight that whole thing, do a Command C to copy it, come back into my WordPress admin panel, paste that whole thing into the text area here. 
Okay, so that's that's done. I'm set. I'm going to click on Change, and then click on Save Changes. Be sure to do both of those. Okay, and that will now. Okay, you can see that it changed that text box to another Mark McLaren. So it's updated the content there. And if I come back out here and refresh the page, hopefully this goes faster than the last time. It took me about a minute to get this page to load, uh, which is a lot when you're on YouTube. OK, are we done? There it is, if you can see it down at the bottom. I've got a new text box and it says Mark McLaren. Okay, and then it has I'm an online marketing consultant and that online marketing consultant is a link. Okay, so clickable and that goes to the about page. So that's the first step in creating this custom text box and when we're done it will look like this one up top. Okay. 